already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Four of Pentacles, and it's with the Magician. So, the Four of Pentacles is the card that's above the word pass. It can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. Yeah, this type of energy is a very st stuck, stuck type of person or energy. Um, but what I'm getting is that for some of you Aquarius, you were dealing with someone who could have been uh, on the greedy side, not wanting to share or spend a dime on you. Maybe stingy, because if you look at the picture, you see how he's on all fours. He's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. And he's looking pretty crazy. Yeah, if a huge brick was to fall out of the sky and hit him upside his head, he'd be in that same position. Just not bulging. For some of you, you could have been with someone who um, kept a really tight hold on you. Really tight. Yeah. And for others of you Aquarius, um, you could have been with someone who was really over, overly attached to money. Because when you get the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can indicate money, cash, coins, finance, income. But there was some unhealthiness going on in the connection. And because it's paired with the magician, this is telling me that you knew it was time to manifest. The magician can be about new beginnings, great expectations, you knew that you had the power in your hand. Yeah, he's, you see how he's the magician, the card that's below the word pass? He's got the wand in his hand, ready to take action. Manifestation powers is the magician. And this is how you started to feel. For some of you Aquarius, you were ready for, for change some new beginning. You knew that dealing with this person, someone like this, with this unhealthy clinging, it was just not working. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we have the Two of Pentacles and it's with a World card. So the Two of Pentacles can be about um, it can be about several tasks. It can be about back and forth. But what I'm getting is that because of the type of person that you you're dealing with here, it's just telling me, or I'm just just getting the vibe or the, or the feel that the connection is really starting to have a lot of ups and downs, a whole lot of highs and lows. You see how he's juggling those those pinnacles? Yeah, I'm just getting a lot of ups and downs. And it's starting to be a bit too much for you. Because you got the world card here. This is telling me that you just you're about ready to close out the chapter with this person. The world card is about can be about ending a cycle, closing the book on a chapter. Uh, it can be about completion, closure, you're ready for this chapter to end. Way too many ups and downs with this per with this person. 
I'm getting, for a lot of you, you've got someone that's holding on really tight to you in an unhealthy way. Or, like I said, you could just be with someone who's really, really greedy. Too attached to money. They don't share. Or they're just holding on really tight to you. And it's just causing a whole lot of ups and downs. Too many highs and lows with this person. Yeah, you're ready to close out the chapter. End the cycle with this person. Now, we move on over and take a look at the challenge. We got the Five of Swords. And it's with, it's with the Devil. So, this is telling me that... Um, for some of you, you, you would have... Or you did express to your person that it's not working and it's time to, for this to be done. Cycle to close out. And the Five of Swords, it it's, it brings about mixed feelings. And five, five of Swords, it means conflict is near. Um, the Devil card, your person could have a strong obsession towards you or for you or about the connection the devil card can be about greed envy materialism jealousy lust sexual lust it can be about um addictions devil energy toxicity addictions can also be alcoholism drug abuse but what I'm getting is because I'm just, I can't take my eyes off the Four of Pentacles. What I'm getting with the Devil card is that um, for a lot of you Aquarius, your person is obsessed with the connection. They, they are obsessed with you. And you letting this person know or they just get the feel or they, they're getting a sense that you're ready to close out a chapter with this person. They're mad. Five of Swords is a very mad, angry type of person. They're obsessed. I'm getting, you've got, this person is obsessed with you. Yeah. Because you got this unhealthy clinging here. And then you got this devil card. So, you got, your person's really obsessed. And they're not happy now. Some of you have packed your bags. Or that's what you're trying to do. And your person, they feel it. Or you already told them. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Page of Cups, and it's with the King of Swords. So, the Page of Cups is actually about communication. When you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student. It can indicate youth, immaturity, or someone who's younger than you. So for some of you, you're dealing with someone who's younger than you. For some of you, you are. And it's indicating that there's some communication that's coming in. Now, for some of you Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces with this page of cups here. Yeah, they could be wanting to talk. This page of cups can be about a open-hearted energy, a happy surprise. This person could be sorry and they want to make up. They want to speak. They got something to say. But it's with the King of Swords. King of Swords is the card below the word outcome. So... King of Swords can um, be a very forceful type of energy. Mean, bossy, arrogant, someone who will overstep their bounds. But you know, I am getting that you could be dealing with a narcissist. Yeah. By looking at the Four of Pentacles and the Devil card showing up here in your reading 
I'm just getting that for some of you, you're dealing with someone who's very narcissistic. A lot of times they overstep their bounds. A lot of times it's all about them. Yep, it's all about them with this Four of Pentacles here. Yeah, so they're reaching out to you for the outcome. And they could be trying to um, talk you into staying because, like I said, the world card is here. It's about your, you being ready for closure and ending a cycle with this person. They have some addiction or obsession about you, about the connection. They're not ready for this to end. So you could find yourself being forceful with this person, um, trying to get your point across. But they could be reaching out to you with an apology. But you, this is a narcissist that you're dealing with for some of you. And they're reaching out, wanting to talk. They could be trying to bring you flowers and candy. But you got someone here that's controlling. That's what I'm getting. Very controlling with, with these cards that I'm looking at here. And you feel like the connection has way too many ups and downs. And you're just ready for a new beginning. You're trying to manifest and you've got great expectations for a new day. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those, so Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you, and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.